and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the Books. I'll take my glasses off. If I look like I've been crying, it's because I have. I've been watching videos of Glee. <laughs> I've been getting emotional about it. Do you feel emotional? No. No. Today is No Product Sunday for David, ah. my favourite day of the week. And Not also, it is my second video in my top five um, series. So I recently hit 5,000 subscribers earlier this year, and I said I would celebrate by doing five top fives. This is the second one, and these are a selection of questions that are for David and me to answer. We've just sat down. It took a lot longer than I thought it was. You it took you ages. Like, it took like two hours. No, not that long. No, it oh. probably took you about an hour. An hour to write down a list of our favourite things. So we're going to mention the topics and then say the top fives each. Um, at the risk of this being really, really long, we're going to try not to go into too much, but neither of us knows what the other person said. No, so, I'm, not, I'm trying not to look at yours. Okay, try not to look at us. So we'll start with the first one, which is songs from films. Yeah. Go on then, you go first. Great, right, so my first one is, uh, so we're going to do one, 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 no, one, one. No, we'll do five, five, and then swap each other. Oh, okay. Right, so my first is... Um, Sexual Healing by Hot Brass 8 in oh, the Chef. Oh, that is a brilliant shout. Yeah, I know. I forgot about that. Yeah, I know. I know. Drive It Like You Stole It from Sing Street. Uh, yeah. Power of Love from Back to the Future. Um, Sinking Friendships by uh, Jonesy in We Bought a Zoo when he. I think that's Honsy. Is it Honsy? Mm. Jonesy for me. Uh, Jonesy. It's when he's looking at pictures uh, of his family oh, and his, uh, of yeah. his deceased wife. That, that is, is a, that's a very good bit. Very, t it's like Sigur Ross sort of thing, isn't yes. it? Yes. Oh. oh, yeah. He is. He's the lead singer of Sigur Ross. Oh, is but, he? Mm, but oh, he, right. he he wrote it all himself. Oh God, that is emotional. And then new sensation uh, by In Excess from the Way Way Back. Damn. And the reason that one. I'm talking about music. No, no. what's that? <laughs> <laughs> what's that? I'm talking about. Dun, 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 just the dun, Beach Boys. Yeah. What What's that one then? So, I don't know that so, one. Um, Cry, baby, cry. Ba, 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 ba. So basically, it's when it's a little montage of him, of, oh, the, of the young lad, uh, become, like growing into like. Very good ones there. Know, very, those. very good I'm ones. I'm very impressed with my. Yeah, so mine team. are. None from Disney, though. No, I, avo I purposely avoided Disney because. Well, you shouldn't do. If it's one of your favourite films, a song from a film, you should go for it. <laughs> mine are starting with Disney, A Star is Born from Hercules. Gonna shout it from the mountain tops. A star is born. That is a brilliant song, isn't it? It is a brilliant song. Brilliant. Um, I'm Kissing You from Romeo and Juliet, which David's never seen. Oh, my God. That oh, I is... do know that song. That's by um, Desiree, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> it's by Desiree. Desiree. Yeah. Desiree. <laughs> it is by Desiree. But it is really it emotional. Is it's very song. good. Um, Up from Sing Street. Yes. Um, yeah. Jump by Girls Aloud. In Love, in Actually. Love Actually. Jump. That's just a good thing. Yeah. And also... Hang on the mistletoe. Oh, of course. I'm good. This Christmas, from this Christmas. So, yeah. I'll go next. Chocolate bars. Yeah, this is my... Now, I struggle been... with this because I, I don't really like chocolate. One. So, I've gone for Crunchy, Bounty, yeah. Yeah. Snickers, yeah. Dime, yeah. and the, my favourite of all chocolate bars, which I don't even know if it counts, but Fry's Turkish Delight. It's yeah. a bar. Yeah, it's a bar. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mine is Boost, uh, just Cadbury Caramel, a Fudge, Dairy Milk and a Twirl. Oh, oh I like a twirl. Twirls are good. Oh, I forgot about twirl. Twirl would probably replace... Do I come? Dime. No, no it's too late now. I've already too submitted late. to it. Right, go on then. You go first with Childhood uh, TV Childhood programs. TV is Ed, Ed and Eddie. Never heard of it. Power Rangers. I've heard of it. Pokemon. Oh, you liked Pokemon when you were younger? Yeah. Oh. I was kind yeah. of like... What, 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 I was what, a Pokemon master. <laughs> yeah, God, I like, made quite a lot of money at school for the old Pokemon cards. <laughs> okay. Okay. Amazing. If you had a, char a shiny Charizard, that was it. That was, cha, like, cha! that was 20 quid guaranteed. Oh, lovely. Cash right. in hand. Go on then, the other two. Don't tell the tax man. <laughs> um, Arthur. Oh, Arthur was amazing. And um, Tugboats, which was like a stop, a stop <laughs> animation. Anybody knows Tugboats, please let me know or let Laura know. I've never know. even heard of it. No, or just Google it. Oh, it was amazing. It was oh. just a stop animation oh. of just Tugboats. And they all had like faces on, like um, Thomas the Tank Engine. And then we got up to like, oh, there was like a one where there was a damn explosion. Oh. It was amazing. Ooh. If not, have a little YouTube of it. It was amazing for a kid. Cool. Yeah, but it's got, it went really under the radar. Oh, Nobody ever knew about it. So far under the radar, no yeah. one knows about it. No. So I've got Crystal Maze. Is that? Oh, yes. Yeah, so, yeah, okay, yeah. Fun House. Oh, Captain Planet. 
Finders Keepers. I nearly put Finders Keepers and in. I love Finders Keepers. And Rainbow. Come with me and you will see a rainbow. Next one. Childhood Sweets. Zappers. Nerds. Wham Bar. Millions. Which I still like now. And Hubba Bubba. Uh, mine's Fruit Salads. Millions. Fruit Salads. Oh, crap. Yeah. Uh, Cola Cubes. Strawberry Bon Bons. That's only four. Oh, no, that is only four. I obviously stopped. Um, oh, God. Uh, 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 um, uh, zappers. I did like Zappers. I like Zappers. Right, go on then. You go with your favourite films. Top five favourite films. Uh, Chef, Back to the Future, We Bought Zoo, Jurassic Park, Sing Street. Very good. All Mine is... pretty obvious ones for Sing me. Sing Street. Yeah. Amelie, which yeah. you've never watched. No. I must make you watch it. No. Christmas in a Day, because it actually is one of my favourite films. And it a favourite film, film is something that you could put on at any time, and I would happily sit through it. And I would honestly, even though watch it's not it Christmas, now. I would I'd sit it through now. it, yeah. Um, Moana. It yeah, I know you put Moana. And I really love The Sapphires. You know that film movie? Yes, you did. I with, love uh, Chris that film. Yeah. Um, things I would do if money was no object. So, number one, I'd go on a Nordic cruise of the fjords. Number two... I'd go to Harry Potter World in Florida, but I'd want a lot of money because I wouldn't oh. want to go anywhere else. <laughs> so I'd literally fly and go there and come back. Um, I would like to that. open a Harry Potter hotel. I would like to buy us a house in the country. Mm -hmm. And I would also like to do, take a year off work and do a coastal walk of the UK. Yes. That do you know, they're, they're making one of those well, by 2020. They Good. will do a whole coastal one of the do UK. It. Uh, so mine is, um, I'd like to own the, uh, a tree house in Centre Parks. You can't own tree houses in Centre no, Parks. No, like, you know the one that they make with all the, the games rooms and stuff? Yeah, like. but you can't own one of those. Uh, <laughs> things I would do with money was no object, <laughs> so I can. Yeah, but what about anyone else who wants to, what, would you just rent it out forever? Yeah. <laughs> I'd just be like, money's no object. I'd be like, here's right. a constant run of money. Okay. All right. I'll have right. it yeah, forever. I see. Uh, I do take a, have a cruise around the world. Yeah. Maybe I'd let other people stay in the centre parks whilst I'm on the cruise. Okay. <laughs> um, I would, I would, <laughs> this is only relevant because of, um, <laughs> what, what was on at the weekend. I'd bribe, uh, all the countries in the EU to vote for the UK and the Eurovision. <laughs> so That's that, what you would do if yeah. money was no object. Yeah. Uh, I'd design and build a roller coaster. God, this is like some fourteen-year-old boy's wishes. Yeah, and I'd, uh, I'd buy the room in the castle in Disney World, so I could stay there whenever I want. <laughs> right, okay. Eighties movies. Yeah. Um, Back to the Future, Ghostbusters, Die Hard, The Goonies, and Roadhouse. I've gone for Back to the Future, Willow, E.T., oh, Willow. Raiders yeah. of the Lost Ark, and The Goonies. Nice, nice. Uh, my favourite Disney characters are Megara from Her Hercules, Moana from Moana. Marida from Brave, Olaf from Frozen, oh, and Genie from Aladdin. Nice. Mine is uh, Mickey Mouse, because you started it all. He's boring. You're boring. <laughs> uh, Moana, oh, Dory, Moana. Remy. Oh, Remy! And Baymax. Oh, Baymax. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Right, um, your Disney villains. My Disney villains is uh, Mad Mad Madam Mim. Yeah. From Sword in the Stone. She's scary because she's crazy. She's amazing. She's so funny. Uh, Jafar, Scar, Ursula, and my ultimate favourite, Gaston. <laughs> I love Gaston. I've gone for Hans from Frozen because I just didn't see it coming. No, that was very good. I was yeah. very tricked by him. Hades, obviously. Yes, from obviously Hercules. Hades. Um, Ursula because I was very scared yeah. of her. Uh, Scar and the Shadow Man from Princess and the Frog. Oh, yeah. He is scary. Um, my favourite dessert. So let me tell you, I first really of all, with this I would one. never have a dessert. I'd always have a cheese board. So number one is cheese board. But if I'm being forced into it, once I had a tea junket, which was like a milk pudding. Did, yeah, it that was, was tea um... flavoured. It was delicious. Um, creme brulee I like. Again, going with the non-dessert theme, I'd probably always have either cheese board or I'd have a peppermint tea. So I know it doesn't really count, but I would have a peppermint tea. Mm -hmm. um, or a rose flavoured panna cotta. Nice. I you? actually really struggled on this. Chocolate cake, what? chocolate bar, chocolate. Pretty much. Pudding. So uh, there's there were two like profiteroles. I love some profiteroles. Oh. Uh, you're gonna chocolate fudge cake. Oh. Victoria sponge, salty oh, caramel mind. ice cream. Oh. And the dime bar cake in, uh, in <laughs> like IKEA. It. Oh, that is amazing. Okay, go on then. Your favourite things about Minnie? Right. I love her cute angry face. <laughs> Um, and then where is she? She's oh, she's there. there. She's sleeping. <laughs> um, so in the mornings, as I'm getting oh, ready that for is, work, this is very cute. So she, because I always feed her after I get out of the shower. So now, she waits 
by the shower and then when I open up the door and let her in, she comes and sits up on like the little towel box and she's meowing and she waits for me to comb my hair and put my glasses on and blow my nose and then as soon as I turn around and she sees me with my glasses on, she walks out because she knows she's going to get fed. That's very cute. That is very good. It's taken, it, yeah, every morning now. Uh, sleeping on the sky box, which she's doing now. Because she had a haircut. Because she's had a haircut, and so the sky box is warm, so it keeps her she tummy likes to warm. Sleep on the just until box. it starts getting hot. Uh, just playing with her toys, because she doesn't, she doesn't do it very often. But when she does, she like really like plays with her toys and goes mental for them, and just her her meows. Oh, lovely! I've started with her meow, and she's a bit trilly, isn't she? So she's yeah. like, oh, you do, you do oh, very oh, good. Oh, yeah. Meow. She does yeah, that as well. Does. Um, I also like that she sleeps on me. So when I fall asleep, she always sleeps on here. She does, like, doesn't protecting she? Protecting me. Mm. Um, I like, she doesn't do this so much anymore, but when we lived in our first flat, she had this ball. I don't even know where it is anymore. And we used to call it bedtime ball. And she always used to appear oh, with it in her mouth is. when it was time for bedtime and go, because she had it in her mouth. It was very cute. Um, I like when she's like, because she's had her hair cut and she feels like a little lamb at the moment. She's like leaping all over the place about eight <laughs> o'clock at night, doesn't she? And I also like her naughty eyes when she gets her big... <laughs> Big black pupils, and she's like, and she and attacks your feet. She does attack my feet, yeah. Um, our favorite, my favorite restaurants. Yeah. I've gone for five here. The Sportsman, obviously, which is where we go, like, yeah. for, and have the tasting menu all the time for our birthdays and anniversary. Rock Salt, which is one we went to recently, which mm -hmm. I adored. Mowgli in Liverpool, which is Indian street food. Dishoom in London, which is Indian street food. And then, as the last one, I've gone for a trusty old Wagamama because there is no chain I enjoy more than a Wagamama. I've kind of followed your sister, so. I've got three of yours. Yeah. Sportsman, Mowgli, and Dishoom. Yeah. I've also gone for Jamie's Italian. Yeah, I do I've like Jamie's had a Italian. Like, yeah. I've never had a bad meal in Jamie's and some Italian. Some people have had horrific yeah. meals in Jamie's Italian, but I've never but had a bad I'm more meal. More often than not, normally have the burger, but the last couple of times I've had a pizza, and they're mm. always really good. And then the other one, I like it when that one of us you gets pizza. are gonna absolutely turn your nose up at <laughs> TGI Fridays. No, is the uh, uh, Rodizo. Rico, the Brazilian place. That, that is awful. Two. That's one of those Brazil. Oh, it's horrible. It's where you get the the card where you yeah. turn it red and green, and then they bring over meat. Oh my god, it was not no. oh, endless meat. That's no, my dream. Horrible. Your favourite UK city? UK cities is um, the Big Smoke, London, right? Bath, Canterbury, Liverpool, and Edinburgh. Very good. We've yeah. gone for very similar. So I've gone yeah. for Canterbury, Bath. Liverpool, Edinburgh, and also Rochester, which is another local yes. one that I really like. Yeah. Um, places I've been. So my top five places that I've been to, I've got Whitstable, because I just love going to Whitstable. Ireland, because I love going to Ireland. Centre Parks, because honestly, it's my happy place. I really, really love it. Oh my God, are they all the same? Um, no. Bookshopping in London is another one of my favourites, and Pembrokeshire in Wales. Okay, so mine is Bath. Yeah. Centre... What did you put Bath on here? Bath, Centre Parks as well, Whitstable as well, Liverpool and um florida or yeah. Walt disney okay the last one then places that yeah. you want to visit i want to visit shanghai disney world <laughs> okay. it looks lovely uh las vegas i know you would pull oh up that. god um italy yeah i'd like to go and see the northern lights yeah and i'd also like to go to germany but specifically so, blah, 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 specifically during Oktoberfest. Oh, for someone who doesn't really want to travel very far, that's quite some places to go. Yeah, that's not. I'd like to go to Dublin. Because we've, ne we've been to Ireland. Yeah, we've not been to Dublin. Yeah, we didn't go to Dublin, did we? Copenhagen, I'd like to go to. I'd also like to go to the islands of Skye and Shetland. And I'd like to stay in the Harry Potter chambers, which is at a hotel in London. So yeah, so those are a few top five moments for us. Now my book won't close properly. Okay. Oh God, maybe I'll do this off camera. Or should I do it now? We've done it now. Um, those are a few more top five moments. Do keep... Um, oh. Put that down, Lauren, because you're not going to be able to stop playing with it. Um, do keep in... Um, keep watching for later videos of my top five. Um, I think I've got top five bookish things, top five bits to show, like a show and tell, and then top five everything else. So they will be appearing as they go. Um, and thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you all again on Wednesday for another booktube video.